Good morning, everybody. How are you? Hope you're good. Well, uh, I am all right. I'm kind of concerned about my male fish. Everyone else is fine. The ick has pretty much gone from everybody else. But then my male with the really impressive fin, that calico. Mm. I don't know what's going on with him, dude. But I'm going to keep doing what I have to do and keep uh, medicating the aquarium with both Melifix and, and, and Pimafix, both from API. One is antibacterial, the other one is antifungal. So I will just have to do the waiting game and keep medicating everything and make sure everything's good. He's moving a little better this morning. He was not moving really well at all tonight. Um, I was actually, believe it or not, not expecting to find him alive this morning. But I'm glad he is. That's why I haven't done the aquarium cam in, what is it now? We, this is beginning week two? That's why. Because I don't think everyone should have to look at sick fish. The fry are perfectly fine. They don't have a sign of ick. They're in the, they're in the grow out tank. The little 10 gallon that I got. Let me show you. I will show you the fish. Here are the fry. They're getting big. It's a very basic tank at the moment. Once they grow out some, um, I will put some substrate down. But like I said, the rest of these guys are doing pretty good. Except for this guy. This guy. I can't seem to get ahead of him. I'm really concerned. He's a beautiful fish. He's a sweet fish. He's not... I don't think he's, I just don't think he's doing good. I'm really concerned that I'm going to have to put him down. I don't want to have to do it. But I also don't want him to suffer either. I don't know, man. I'm doing Melifix at night. And Pima Fix in the morning. One of my apple snails. They're much, much, much bigger than I originally, than I had them. Uh, or what that I, uh, when I bought, much bigger than when I bought them. I don't know, it's like, partly he seems okay, partly it seems like he's gotten better, but then, you know, part of it isn't, I don't know, I guess maybe it, is it just the ick bits dying and coming off, and they're just kind of loose, because he hasn't really gotten any more spots, and he doesn't have any scale lifting or anything like that. I'm going to do a water change tomorrow. About 50%. Moment, I'm just waiting for um, coffee. And I'm going to make a scrambled egg and a bagel. My beautiful cat. God, I love her. Yes, Grace, I'm talking about you. Gracie pie. My messy house. But anyway, cat. My cat. Yes, I know. Kitty. Well, uh, hey. She's a cute cat. And generally, she's a good cat. Sometimes. Meow. But, uh, last night, <coughs> she decided to cat too much and bring me a mouse. And it was still alive when she brought it into the house. So now I have a mouse running around my house. Injured, probably bleeding. Gonna die somewhere. It's gonna stink and I'm gonna have to find it. So who do we get to thank for that? This one, the Gracie. Uh, yes, you. Let me know if you are enjoying the me doing things like this, like the vlog, a vlog in a more vlogging style. I'm going to try not to edit it too, too much because um, I kind of like a more raw style vlog. Not overly produced or fancy. Anyway, let's check on the frogs. This is Rena. 
And as you can see, there's a nice juicy roach hanging out right beneath her. And she's going to find it. She seems skinny, but damn it, they ate last night. I saw them do it. We're going to go get that roach. Go get it. I'm going to help her out a little bit. She does not like it. She's much more skittish than the male. Maybe she'll, do you think she'll let me touch her this morning? Let me. Yes, my hands are clean. I always clean them before I do things with my fish, but I'm going to try to pet her gently. Hi, Rena. Nope. I'm sorry. I did not mean to startle you, love. I didn't mean to. It's your mama. Mama's not going to hurt you. Okay. Mommy's not going to hurt you. You should know that by now. I'm not going to do it. It was water. I like to put my fingers in the water, make sure they're moist. Oh, Rena, come here. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm not going to chase after you either because I'm not going to do that. That's not the kind of mama I am because I love you. Even though you're scared of me, I love you anyway. <sighs> anyway, those are my golden tree frogs. Well, that's one of my golden tree frogs. There's Rena again, and Tully is right underneath her. Those are my frog babies. I love them. They're wonderful. They don't really like being touched all that much, so I just don't. The male lets me do it every now and then, but um, Rena still hasn't gotten into her head that I do not want to actually hurt her. And look, it's my puppy dog, Monet. Yeah. The Grace is like, nope. Monet, look at him, he's so cute. Oh, he's gonna sniff the camera. Oh, such a good boy. Such a good dog. Oh, stretchy baby. You're such a good boy. Don't chase your sister. That's not nice. All right, I'll check back with you guys a little bit later in case I do something interesting. Or I have something interesting to say. See ya. Have any of you tried this Siggy's? It has no percent milk fat, so it's skim. Icelandic style. Strained non-fat yogurt, mixed berries with acai, or acai. <laughs> Stop, Monet. That's not nice. I tried. <laughs> My dog is being a dick. He doesn't realize that I'm filming. Anyway, it has. Um. It's like the Icelandic version of um, Greek yogurt. I'm more of a uh, custard style gal. I think maybe if there's a little bit of milk fat in here, this would taste even better. Just 1%. It would be better. I think it keeps it from tasting and being chalky and too dry. If it can be too dry. It just tastes... It, feels dry. The taste isn't so awful. It tastes like someone mixed some chalk in there, but not as bad as Greek yogurt. Not like real Greek yogurt, but the stuff that's being sold in American stores these days and passing off as Greek yogurt. 
My pretty girl is having her fry. These are the ones that are already born. There's a couple over here. There's actually a small break underneath here so the fry can get away. But she is having the babies right now. Like right this, I moved her just in time over here to the grow out tank. I put the divider in. And she, I'm really, really glad I did that. So, uh, in a few weeks, you might see some new mollies over on the, over on my account on aquabid.com, which is Myers Mollies, M-Y-E-R-S-M-O-L-L-I-E-S. Look, new babies. New babies. Good mama. Good mama. I'll check back in with you in just a little bit. Well, uh, my one of my golden mollies just had her fry, so that's pretty exciting. Uh, and it's about five. I fed the fish and I fed the dog. And the cat doesn't get actually any wet food because it gives her the runs. So we don't do that because food's no good unless it stays in you to do the thing that it's supposed to do, right? Right. So I'm going to let him out. And then I'm going to get some stills of the fry. And I will insert them into the video here in a little bit. So, uh, I'll get those to you in just a second. Welcome to the next day. I know there is a brief pause, but I promise you that there's been 24 hours gone by since the fry started being born. And let's look at them and see how they're doing. Well, first of all, snail, kind of important. These right here are some of the bigger fry, which are no longer fry. I would consider them finger, uh, fingerlings. I'd like to think that we have about 30 fry. All are doing very well. Uh, I think we have lost I think considering uh, so far two that I know of and there were only two unfertilized eggs in the bunch. Uh, there are a couple weaker ones down here and I'm going to, you know, I'm going to give them a little time. They're still alive. They're, they'll swim a little bit and they'll eat some of the flake slash calcium slash algae wafer that has dissolved on the bottom. So maybe with a little bit of food and some time, um, I don't want to give up on them, but um, I'll figure that out as it goes. To cull, I will. Um, Hopefully, I will be able to provide feeder fish um, to people who need feeder fish. The, the ones that I'm not planning on keeping, breeding, selling, whatever. Um, 
then I will go through and decide which ones I'm keeping, which one, I, which ones I am selling, and anything that I sell, whether it be apple snails like this one up here. or any of my fish, and I will not sell them until they're at least an inch to an inch and a half long. It depends on the fish. Um, but uh, I will make these decisions when it comes to it. Until then, I will just take care of them and make sure they have clean water. And I actually did clean the aquarium today. Um, I don't want... I very terrified. It's really scary to have all of these itty bitty little baby fishies and a big gigantic gaping <sighs> siphon. So I put a uh, fish net over the end. So this really is just you know dissolved algae wafer from the day and some flake food that has moistened enough and fallen to the bottom, which gives the weaker ones the ability to find something to eat. And it also makes sure that food is softened for the ones who wish to stay closer to the bottom but are not as weak. So I'm trying to give everyone a chance and so honestly the tank is clean, the water is clean, I gave a water change today at least 50%. Same thing was over here and my impressive male right over here is looking so much better. The ick is starting to flake off and he is looking clean and shiny. He's getting there. He's getting there. So anyway I'm gonna go walk the dog um, today and I will get back to you guys in a little bit. You know, as I mentioned earlier, now is the day after when I initially started the video. And, well, as you can see, it's nighttime. And I'm letting the dog out. So, of course, and then the cat is outside hanging out, doing things. The dog is out there waiting to pee. And here I am just waiting for him and enjoying the evening but I'm all done. The fish have been fed. The lights are off. The fry are doing really well. Um, so yeah. Good times, good times. Oh I did get to game a little bit today but I didn't record it. I didn't put any of it on Twitch or anything like that so um, yeah. But if you like this kind of a video from me, let me know. Uh, maybe I'll even take you on walks with me and the dog. That would be a lot of fun. Um, it's hard to do it with a handheld, but you know, you do what you can do. And my smartphone isn't doesn't have enough gigs to really do that very well. But anyway, uh, if you like this kind of a thing for me, give this thing a thumbs up if you can. Um, and if you like the randomness of my channel, please subscribe. And uh, leave me any questions, comments, topic ideas down in the comments below. And I will talk to you hopefully soon. I don't know if I'm going to do this on a, the daily, a couple times a week, once a week. I don't know. We'll have to see how it goes. My intentions are always good, but whether I'm actually able to follow through is a different thing. But anyway, I will talk to you all very soon. Take care, everyone. Bye.